Hey everybody, this is Snook, and today I want to talk about the contest for um, who influenced you the most on Steemit. Well, actually it's not on Steemit, it's in your life in 2018. And for me, I was thinking about it and thinking about it. Because a year is a long time, and you forget stuff about that happens at the beginning of the year that can impact the whole rest of your year. Um, you tend to think about the stuff that just happened now or in the last quarter of the year. So I've been going over and over in my head, and um, it comes down to one person that made the most impact on my year, and that would be... Shadows Pub. She is, um, I was lucky enough to get to know her really well as a friend. And it was really great that um, for both of us we came, well for me, I have to say, I don't know what you'd have to ask her, but for me it was really great to come together at the time that we did and just laugh and talk and discuss things and she taught me to not make excuses about myself about what meaning when I create things when I write blogs when I do videos she taught me not to make excuses that they're not, even though in my mind they might not be perfect, that they're still good. And not to use excuses and not to make excuses. And to accept the fact that people like what I do and I should be proud of that. And that was that's hard for me to that was a hard lesson to learn for me. And she taught me that I need to get over it. <laughs> I mean, I still have my moments. It's still really hard to talk about myself, but she, the best way I can put this is that one day in PYPT, Pimp Your Post Thursday, on the Steam It Ramble, um, somebody said something and I made a kind of derogatory comment at my, about myself and she said one word and that one word was bullshit and well you can't argue with bullshit I mean you just can't there is no argument to that word so and I still remember that to this day that that don't make excuses just accept the fact. You can um, question what you're doing and whether it's, and always try to make things better, but have faith that when people are saying nice things about you, they're meaning it. And to just learn to say thank you. So, out of all the things, that's probably the best lesson that she taught me, and I'm grateful for. But it went, it goes deeper than that. It's more the friendship that got formed, and to know that she was there to watch my back and to just be my friend, to send her a note and be able to chat when I, on voice, when I was too tired to type, um, was a, a gift that she knew. Um, I'm not the best speller. Maybe it was easy for her to finally just give in and listen to me talk, because when I'm really tired, my typing, which is not good to begin with, gets even worse. But <laughs> she knew. And it just, little things like that, that just compiled and really made um, 
2018 probably the most special was that friendship that formed and getting to know her and one of the proudest moments I had was a video I made for her birthday um, and it was probably the hardest thing I ever tried because I wanted it perfect. I wanted it she's so good and she cares about the community so much that I wanted it to be worthy of her that video so that anybody that saw it could see how special she really is because she's very quiet about herself so she's gonna hate this video about how wonderful she is but that's all right I have thick skin <laughs> and she lives in Canada So I think I'm pretty safe. And she doesn't have a passport yet. <laughs> but it, she, is, she will turn it around and make it about you and not her. So she's kind of an unsung hero. Even though everybody knows who she is. I was there, I think it was her birthday. Um, we had a big a five minute party, a five minute time snook party for her birthday. And it was really great. And I think it was that night that a post she had written, she got her first Curie vote, her first. And it, it's one of those things where people just assume that the people that have been on here on the Steam blockchain, um, have all those accolades and then they tend to overlook what they do and just assume that oh well they've gotten one you know they know that they're loved and they know that they're they're appreciated and this and that where they aren't always um, and everybody's human and everybody likes to be appreciated and it was really special to find out that that was her first Kiri vote that night. And I'm sure she'll correct me if I'm wrong if it was that night. But I know I was there when it happened. And, um, yeah. So, I kind of think of that when you see people that have been here a while with really large reputations, that things when they started were not the same as they are now. Or even when I started a year ago. And people just assume that they know how wonderful they are. And um, I think once in a while it's good to have people hear how wonderful that they are. And for me, Shadows Pub was, is um, a supporter behind the scenes of so many people and always is being positive and will tell you straight whether you're just being an idiot or your idea or if she doesn't understand it she will help you think through things and she doesn't question why you're asking a question she just gives you an answer my my brain happens to think in a different way and she was willing to learn my way um, to get to know the real me and the good and bad of the real me. And that just touched my heart in so many ways and still does. So don't ever assume that the wonderful people that are out there that do all the good in the world um, know that. Know that they're appreciated and know that they're loved and know that they made a really big impact on your life. And I think it needs to be more people need to tell other people how much they really do mean to them. And I think you can do it in a non-mushy way 
Um, I think it can be private, not on a video. Um, but I think that that's a really big lesson is, is that no matter how high up or who anybody is or what they have, they still like to know that, well, maybe not publicly, but, <laughs> but I think it's a good thing that they know that the impact that they've had on your life. And this contest just happened to give me an outlet for it, and it was perfect. Now, I'm supposed to say what I would do if I was going to send her a present that was worth 10 steam. Well, in my country, I think 10 steam is worth like 43 cents, so which is like under $5. So really, what I would send her, even if it was over um, $5, what I would send shadows would be um, a garden gnome and a packet of green beans. And I'm sorry, that's an inside joke, but that's what I would send her. And um, and I and I will I will find some pictures and put it on there. And then um, and then I would hide for about a month after she got the package of a garden gnome and green beans, uh, well seeds to plant around her house. So. In reality, what would I send her that I know she would really love? It would definitely be more than 10 steam right now, unfortunately. Um, but there's so much I would like to send her. Um, anything that would make her blogging career easier. Um, there's a really neat desk. It's a it's a lab desk that my mom has um, that I think she would really like. I'm not sure what she's using now other than her lamp. But I, I really don't know. But so things to make her life easier doing what she loves. And um, yeah. So that's my story. And I also want to say, when she was out ill for a couple weeks from PYPT, she makes it look so easy. And it actually took five of us to replace her for each show. So what she does seamlessly on PYPT is, is not as easy as one would think. And I think that was a big eye-opener too, to a lot of people, is, is that the amount of work and that she puts into anything that she does is, is just amazing. And she does it all quietly behind the scenes. And, and she does it for other people too. So she is a very giving, wonderful person, and I am very honored and proud that in 2018, she got to be a huge, huge part of my life. So thank you, Shadows, and, and you can kill me later for doing this, but I'm sorry. You were the first one that came to my mind when um, I saw the the contest and I do want to say that um, if I would win the contest I would like the prize of the contest to go to Spunky Monkey um, I so which is another reason why I decided to do this because Shadows is very involved with the Spunky Monkey uh, that Dream Steam the Spunky Monkey family app that Dream Steam is trying to um, raise money for it to build and it will be built anyway but it would just be a lot faster if they had the money um, so yeah so thank you for anybody that actually made it through this video 
And if you don't know Shadows Pub, go to PYPT on Thursdays. There's a morning show and an afternoon show. And it is all about community. And she is one of the best community leaders we could ever hope to have on Steam. So, thanks. Bye.